The epilogue. Is this... This is the end, or getting very close to the end. This is a unique uh, place for Coda to create, I would say. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. <laughs> Let's go. This is pretty nice, actually. Solution. 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 Oh, cool. Weird, but cool. I like it. What's going on in your I head guess now, Coda? If someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. There's nothing wrong with that. Man, he does all these little weird design choices, though. Like, I love how there's just random balconies that are inaccessible like we've seen a few things like that previously where it's just inaccessible now, area the disease is telling me to stop don't show people what a shitty person you are they'll hate you yeah but you can't my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation. What would that even be? I love how it's changed. Strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. It's crazy how it's changed from being all about Coda to now it's like, oh... Now I realize, like, he, he's had a big self-realization. I really do wonder if, like, the character of Davy Redden is, is being expressed as Davy. If that makes any sense, like, or is he doing it as a character? Or is he really oh, yeah. expressing his true feelings about things? I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna... Okay. Is he gone? He left us. Oh. It's funny how, like, 
when he kind of got that kick in the ass from Coda, like, really putting it back in his face, made him realize, like, oh, wow. And sometimes it takes that for people. I, and I, and I, I don't say that, like, in a judgmental way. Like, it's happened, I, I think it's happened to all of us, where you're, like, maybe a little bit overbearing or overstepping your bounds in some stretch of the imagination. And until somebody really points it out to you, like, you're probably just thinking, I'm just... I'm trying to help. Like, I'm just trying to do the right thing. And then they... They tell you how they really feel about it. And it's hard to swallow. I wonder if we could just... Ride this back up. Or if it'll stop. Yeah, it's gonna stop. Back at the station? Looks like it. We came in and we were looking right up, right? Different version of the station. We've got the light, and that was the thing that had the, um, the glitch where, oh, where we just put you back in there from earlier. <laughs> right. Yeah, it killed us the first time, and then it brought us back to see the whole level, I think. If I recall correctly, but... Everything's just a big maze, man. Wow, okay. So... Huh. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, gather my thoughts about... What just happened. Um... 
the way I'm kind of viewing this, and I, I think there's going to be a, a lot of different interpretations, obviously. But I think the way that I view this is that... I almost treat this as like a diary entry. And yeah, he's like, he's sharing it with us, Davey. Um, but I kind of think like... I'm kind of looking at this as just like a personal uh, reflection on his part. And I have, I have to assume that Koda was like a real person to him maybe not by the name by that name or whatever but i have to assume that it's it's a real thing that kind of happened at least for the purposes of of this narrative and i think what we just experienced was a very personal thing that he's decided to share um and he's had like a pretty big realization that he wanted to i really truly believe he was trying to do the right thing and sharing the work but i think What's happened is he's created a... He created kind of like a false image of Coda. And not just for Coda um, towards other people, but like also like of himself, like of, of Davy's, uh, Davy's image of Coda. I think he like almost made him to be like this god uh, where he was like, man, these, these things that he's creating are so good. And it's like, trying to live up to that in his own game design, most likely. Um, just because his ideas were unique, right? Like, a lot of that stuff was just unique to the... And, and I don't think there was a lot of meaning behind it. I think it was just like, oh, it's weird just for the sake of being weird. That's cool. Um, but at the same time, you could interpret the beginner's guide like that. A lot of it could be just weird for the sake of being weird. But I think... Um, I think it's more of just like a diary entry where he's pushed somebody away in his life and now he's kind of realized why it happened. Maybe there was, if we want to get to like a, a more of a basic uh, kind of interpretation, I think that it's possible that Koda was probably an, a bit of an outcast, maybe a bit of a loner, and Davy may have made it even worse by like sharing these games with people in that kind of circle. And saying, like, you know, this guy's games are, like, weird or whatever, but people might have played them and be like, what the f... Like, this is dumb. Like, whatever. And, like, the whole thing about the... He's designing these, like, crazy, like, quote-unquote prisons, right? Maybe he just does... Maybe he just likes building prisons. Like, when I was a kid, I used to draw these things on a piece of paper, like, these little hills. <laughs> Literally, it was, like, these hills. 2D hills. Um, but I'd draw, like, little, like, ants that would have, like, guns on their backs and, like shooting each other at weird angles, kind of like uh, a game, an old game that you could play on the internet called, like, Gunbound. But, like, this is way before I knew what Gunbound was. Um, or I guess it's kind of like Worms. I think Worms is like that. Anyways. Um, if somebody saw those, they'd be like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, and it might have been something similar, but it was just what I liked to do at the time. Um, so it's interesting. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump into the comment section on this one, and, uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think, and if... I I could probably go to a lot of the, um... Like, I could search some stuff on this game, but... I'm, I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just restrict it to what you guys are talking about and what your interpretations are, and I'll try and jump in there. Um, and I would encourage you to, to make your own conclusions instead of reading others, because I honestly believe this is one of those things that's gonna be very, very, very wide open. Um... Now, a lot of people are going to say, is this a game? Well, I mean, ish. It's an experience, you know? It, like, do I enjoy playing it? Uh, I mean, it was cool to kind of see what was happening, but that was really all that was it. Or, like, you were just, a, it was just, it was an experience. I guess the closest thing to a game was, like, cleaning the house, <laughs> which sounds really weird. Um, but, like, it was a cool experience. Is it something I would recommend to everybody? No. But at the same time, this isn't a game where people are going to just randomly be like, yeah, cool. But the problem is, is because it's like from the same guy who did the Stanley Parable, I think people are going to be expecting that. I did. I expected a lot of like, oh, what if I try this? Or what if I try this? Just, and that's obviously the wrong kind of assumption to make. And maybe that's like a little sub, like, meta thing that he was trying to do. Be like... That was what everybody expected from him, I'm sure. 
or a large majority. And then he comes in with something like deeply personal, um, just telling a, a really concise and clear, yeah, not very clear, but concise and to the point kind of um, personal story about himself. So, yeah, it's interesting. I really want to know what you guys think, and I'd love to talk about it in the comments. Um, my apologies for the video being a little bit shorter. I actually, I didn't, I, I know when I stopped recording the last session, I knew it said epilogue, but I figured it might be like a couple of chapters worth, um, but it obviously wasn't. So when I picked up today, um, it was a bit shorter than anticipated, but that's okay. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm curious to hear your interpretations, and then we can uh, chat about it a bit. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.